Finally, the Jewish people are saved. They are free to leave Egypt. And when they leave, the verse says they were chamushim. What is chamushim? What does that mean? The simple explanation is they were armed. So the commentators give three different opinions of what the word actually means. One of the commentators explained that it comes from the word chaymesh, which is a fifth, because four-fifths of the Jews didn't make it out of Egypt. And one-fifth, chamushim, made it out. Another commentator explains that each family had five children. And another commentator explains that they were armed, but they were armed with good deeds. So let's summarize. First commentator says it's a fifth. Second commentator says there were five children. And the third commentator says there were good deeds. Hold on one second. So the second commentator that says that every family went out with five children. Really? And the third commentator, good deeds. What good deeds? There's a beautiful idea by the Bar Yosef. He puts all three of these together. When the Jewish people left Egypt, there were loads of orphans. Who was going to look after these kids? So when the families went out, it's not that they just had all their own set of kids. They had four other families of kids. That's what it meant they had five children. They actually had five sets of children. And the third commentator, the good deeds, what were the good deeds? They were looking after other people's children. They took orphans in. So what were they armed with? They were armed with the good deeds that when the fifth left Egypt, they had five sets of children. So what's the message? These slaves that were becoming free people, they had every excuse in the book to say, I can't give now, it's, it's too much for me. But they still gave. When I was in Israel many years ago, there was a family that insisted on having two guests every Friday night. It was a very, very simple meal. There was a little bit of the filter fish for the starter. Um, there was a bit of soup, a piece of chicken, a little bit of rice, a few carrots, and there was an apple and orange for dessert. Really basic. And there wasn't much, I'll be honest, on the table. And it was quite a difficult experience. So one of my friends asked, why are you actually inviting us? We could go to the yeshiva, it's actually okay. So Moti said, I need to teach my kids to give. And that is what it means to be a giver, even in tough times. Be great, be a giver. It's good to give, even when it's tough. Shabbat Shalom.